Hello, and welcome back to TMD Family Farm. It is a nice, brisk day here in Florida. After it's warmed up, oh, it was a nice 56, 55 this morning. Oh, beautiful. And because it is such a beautiful day out, I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance to my compost bins. The compost bins I created are a bit of an experiment. I was trying to get something that looks aesthetically pleasing and something that's fairly functional lumped together instead of just heaping it on the ground. Each section that I built is a little different than the rest, so we're going to find out over time how well each bin does. Before I get into actually doing the maintenance and making a couple modifications to my compost bins, let's go through the build. My compost bins are primarily made of pallets that I sourced from businesses that were throwing them away. And then I screwed them together with exterior screws. And then I got a deal on a few rolls of wire fencing and stapled that to the inside to keep the compost bundled together. I went with a roll of black plastic for the tops and the backs because it seemed like it would heat up in the sun and keep the bins warm. The bin lids are made from non-treated two by fours, so they were actually fairly cheap, uh, but unfortunately they won't stand up to nature for many years being outside. I purchased the untreated lumber because I didn't want the chemicals going into the beds. However, I can't vouch for all the different things that have been spilled on or been around the uh, pallets though. So I don't know if me trying not to buy untreated lumber uh, is a wash or not in this context. But I put the lids together and then I uh, took some extra wood and spare wood from pallets in a few places to make some braces and I also attached hinges to the back. On three of my bins I put chicken wire on top of the plastic thinking I would protect it more efficiently this way from maybe animals that may try to come in on the top or if something falls on the bins. Uh, however, that was actually a bit more of a pain in the rear than having it placed underneath. The later bins that I made to the left of this one, I put the uh, chicken wire underneath and I think that actually ended up being a better design. This is the next bin over where its lid has the chicken wire on the other side and then plastic wrapping it on top to keep it warm. And I braced this one differently than the others based on just the spare lumber and wood that I had available. This bin doesn't have anything in it at the moment. My intent is to actually begin rotating material from the right bins to the left over time and then putting fresh material in the right and then get into cycles of moving from, from right to left where on the left side I have the finished product. This is my first time making compost. I am not perfect at it and I'm learning all the time as I find problems, I fine tune and tweak things. I wanted my bins to have proper aeration, but not to be too hot, but not to be too cold. And I wanted them to look good. I didn't want to just have heaping mounds of compost sitting in the back of my mega garden or grow area or small family farm. However, that's not to say that I couldn't have done that and it wouldn't have been a bad thing. Quite honestly, the way I first started to do it was to have it heaped on the ground and it was composting just fine. Since this is my first time going through the composting process, I've been learning a lot and I do think that the materials I've been putting in are taking a little longer to break down, but I don't know if that's because I started at the end of summer, going into fall and then going into winter where I'm not getting as much heat from the sun and I'm getting temperamental weather because we went into hurricane season where we get, would get tons of rain and then nothing for a while and then tons of rain all at once and then nothing for a while. So this is something I'm going to have to feel out for a while 
and improve upon my design over time. And one of those improvements is what I'll be doing today. I will be taking boards off, putting a plastic sheet on the front, then putting the boards back so I can maintain their temperature and look aesthetically pleasing. So that's what I'm trying to do. We'll see how well it works out. This is the fun part about DIY projects is there's no exact science. It's you just deciding what you would like to do and then figure it out. From back here, that panel looks pretty darn good. And it's not until you get up close that you actually realize that there's something in there. Will that plastic eventually wear out one day? Yep. But that looks like it might work. So I'm going to do that to these next two pallet panels. And then my next goal will be to turn this bin and then I will take its temperature every day and see how fast it's dropping or if it's maintaining.
And there we have it. We have our plastic liner on the inside of our pallet boards. It uh, still looks decent. Uh, you have the black between the boards, so it still pops out and looks nice while blocking wind. And there is still airflow throughout the piles as we got the compost on the inside, and then we've got the screen fencing or the metal fencing and then we have these air channels we will see if this experiment pans out and i will have to toss this compost and take its temperature multiple times to find out and see how well it maintains if it does great if not i may have to find a new solution or try to do something else it the compost does not have to break down quickly However, I don't want it to take several months. Thank you for joining me for this endeavor of mine. These little DIY projects are what makes homesteading and building a small family farm really fun. If you liked this, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you very much.